Good morning, guys. It is 4.32 a.m. Um, I'm getting ready to leave for my trip. Um, I'm flying to Calgary first, and then I think Saskatoon. And um, my idea is to bring you guys along with me. So this is a flight attendant vlog. Welcome to the video. All right, guys, the Uber is on its way. Coffee is almost done. Let's get out of here. Let's get this day going. Hey everyone and welcome to today's vlog so like i always said this wasn't going to be just about swimming i decided this would be a good opportunity to do my very first ever flight attendant vlog uh so bear with me i tried to get as much uh footage and the best footage as i could and include as much behind the scenes stuff for you guys as i could as well obviously i'm working <laughs> this is my job so i do have to be careful about um, what I film, what I share, all that kind of stuff. So I did my best to try and make it interesting for you guys. I picked one of the rare international trips that I was on. I was um, I had a Cancun layover scheduled for this pairing. Normally I tend to stay with domestic pairings. It's just easier. Uh, the people are better to work with generally um and you don't have to do, worry about customs and security and all the things that come along with international flying so in general i tend to just do domestic also there's only so many things that we can bid for and because i swim two times per week most of my bids go towards uh swimming and my days off so i don't really have room to bid for the juicy stuff such as cancun um that other people do have room to bid for so just in general i do domestic trips so i thought this trip would be a fun one to bring you along with because it has somewhere a little more entertaining for you guys to see so anyways this was the first day we had to be at the airport on the plane by 5:45 a.m. which yep that's uh, pretty painful pretty painful and I was working in the galley that day so I was getting everything all ready I like to be very organized and thorough in my work so it does take quite a while I did try and speed it up for you guys but it's still it's kind of a lot of footage so my apologies but uh, yeah there's a lot to get ready especially first thing in the morning because no one else has gotten the galley ready for the day type of thing so um, there's just a lot to do you're kind of starting from scratch so I'm almost done here I think I'm filling up all the ice which I always make such a mess when I do that <laughs> there's usually ice flying all over the place but hey what can you do and um, then I think after this I start getting the yeah I get the food cart ready so on this flight we were selling food like sandwiches and I think we even had hot food on that flight yeah we had breakfast sandwiches and some fun stuff there so I was getting all of that ready and for our airline if you're working in the galley then you also sell the food so I signed up to work galley before I remembered that we had food to sell <laughs> no I'm just kidding it was fine it was a easy day so it seemed like a good day to be in the galley a lot of people really like it because you can kind of hide back there but you know and once that was all organized and of course we did the safety demo we did service we got off and on our way all that good stuff once everything was all done and the galley was all clean again and everyone was happy with service and just sleeping in their seats then it was time for the flight attendants to take a break so there was some leftover food I had this lovely egg and potato dish. It was actually quite good with some yogurt, my little book. I'm still reading the Peak Nutrition book. And then before you know it, the flight's over and uh, people are leaving. I usually will low-key dance a little bit in the back galley, especially if I'm by myself back there. No one on the plane is looking at the back when it's time to get off, let me tell you, so I can 
dance and sing back there to my heart's content as people <laughs> start to get off. And so that's what I usually do. But I do try to keep it low key. That's why I look miserable there, but I'm not. I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> and then for our second flight of the day, we we're going from Calgary to Saskatoon. So a much shorter little hop. But um, the plane that we were taking was at the other side of the airport, which, you know, that happens. So in Calgary, they have this little shuttle thing that they um, uh, use to transport you around the airport. And I love it. It's such a relaxing little ride because it's um, electronic. So it doesn't make a lot of noise. It's just so nice. And then uh, I found this little selfie station. So I thought, yo, let's take a selfie and took that cute little selfie. And um, I had to get a shot of the outside because it was incredibly snowy in Calgary and I thought you guys would enjoy seeing that. Look at that. It's not like that in Toronto, at least not right now. And then I had um, the Beyond Burger from a and Have you guys had that? It's so good. And Toblerone, my favorite little treat. And here we are flying over the frozen tundra that is the Canadian prairies. This is en route to Saskatoon. And then we made it to Saskatoon. Okay, oh my god, here. Two beds, like Stella would say, two beds! Good, very good. Fridge, also good. Mm. Uh, okay, so I just made it to my room in Saskatoon. Um, it is super cold here, like, oh my goodness. I don't know what the temperature is, but I can tell you it is very cold. So, um, it is three o'clock. My shuttle pickup time tomorrow is 5 a.m. So I want to go to bed. I have to get up at four. So I want to go to bed eight till nine, nine till 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to one, one to two, two to three, three to four, five, six, seven, eight. So I want to go to bed by eight. So that means I need to be in bed by seven. So I uh, have like three hours of free time. Um, all my nails are like falling apart. I don't know if you can see that. All my nails are like a dozen store. So I might go to the mall and get those fixed. Um, and also get some food. So I didn't pack any dinner because tomorrow I'm going to Cancun and you can't bring any food with you to Cancun because they literally x-ray our luggage and take it away, which is annoying, but you know, their country, their rules. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I have my scarf and my warm hat. And I guess I'm gonna go to the mall and see what we can up can get up to. All right, guys, I have changed into comfier clothes, and it's only 3:30, so it's time to go. I have a very long walk in the very cold weather. I'm going all the way to the mall, and it's oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I think I can do that. We can cross the road, and we're indoors. Bam. Oh, and also, just before I leave, I'll show you how I set up my room. I always, you know, put my lunch bag somewhere central and I will charge my iPad, which is my company issued device and it has to be charged to 80% every day. And then I'll leave the most important items, watch, which is mandatory, and my work ID near my lunch bag because, you know, not likely to forget, not likely to forget. And then I always bring some cream so that I can have it with coffee in the morning because I don't mind hotel coffee so much but I do not like the taste of these things I mean I'll use them if pressed but you know and then I will lay my uniform out got my shoes there my dress tights shorts 
probably wear shorts under my dress. Sweater, get that ready to go. My suitcase lives over here and it's all organized and ready to go. And then I will open up and take out all my toiletries so they're like ready to use. And then my makeup lives here and it's ready to go. So then in the morning I can get ready super duper fast. And um, that's about it. Okay, so let's now go to the mall. <laughs> All right, made it back to my hotel room. It is 5.46, 6.46 Toronto, so the timing's not too off, which that's good. Now, here's the problem with staying um, right beside a mall. I spent too much money. Got my nails done, can you see, can you see? It's exactly the same color that I had before, but she fixed all the broken ones and now they kind of look the same length and stuff and uh, She actually did a really good job. I'm very very pleased. So that was worth it. I got some dinner I got Manchu wok. I got some vegetables and some garlic chicken and some noodles. I'm excited about that I'm not super hungry, but that is kind of the problem with pairings like this where you have to go to bed really early. You just like, you just kind of have to eat dinner early. You don't really have a choice. So I'll eat that in a moment. And then I got, this was on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, it's daily hydrating lotion with hyaluronic acid. I have sensitive skin and I can't use stuff with scent in it because I'm allergic to scent. Um, and it just makes me like nauseous. Uh, and a lot of skincare has a lot of scent in it and I just like can't even, I cannot. Anyways, so I'm gonna try this, it should be good. The one I'm using now is a little too thick and it's, it's not, uh, it's not making my skin purdy, you know? And then, uh, now you're gonna laugh because I told you I'm allergic to scent, but I do like light scent, just very, uh, very light, very infrequent. Um, you know and since we're going to Cancun tomorrow and it's gonna be hot I'm like eh, it might get a little stanky so I got this from Bath and Body Works it's called a thousand wishes it's very very light um, and it's sparkly and pink I can't remember what the notes are but it's super super light and it's only a body spray it's not perfume so if I only spray a little bit it should be fine if I get a headache, I will tell you, but it was only six bucks, so whatever. And then they had this store, Swimco, which I've been wanting to try for a while because, let me tell you, girl, it is really hard to find a polyester, high neck suit that is suitable for training in plus size. Like, it's almost impossible. I have one that I love right now, but it's like completely shredded on the inside because the inside's not polyester, so it doesn't last. The outside is like perfect, but the inside is not. And so I've been needing a new one for a long time, but I just cannot find one. And the amount of time that I spend in the water, it has to be polyester. If it's lycra or spandex or whatever, like forget it. It's it's not gonna last. So this one, I like it. It's polyester, it's high neck, it's plus size. Um, it's just not lined in the back and I would prefer lining front and back because I just find it more comfortable. And the fabric feels a little thinnish. It's kind of annoying to me how expensive bathing suits are when, but anyways, I've never tried this store before and this um, line is exclusive to Swimco. Um, and it is polyester, so whatever. So this is what it looks like. Can you see? So it's nice. This is like a pink color and then just a normal like black bottom and it has like a high neck which is really important to me and then a nice clasp at the back. So um 
yeah, so I'm excited. The only thing I really don't like is that it's not lined in the back. Like, ugh. I mean, most swimsuits are, don't get me wrong, aren't, sorry, most swimsuits aren't, don't get me wrong. So it's not like they're doing something crazy. I just wish it was. And uh, yeah, so now I have three swimsuits with me. My suitcase is absolutely jam-packed and I have three swimsuits now, but whatever. Um, and I walked through the bay. They had a lot of cute stuff that was on sale, but um, like I said, my suitcase is jammed, so I had no room for it. So we had to walk by that and yeah, I think that's it. So now I'm going to eat dinner. I may or may not do a face mask before I go to bed. I haven't decided yet. And uh, watch a little YouTube, see who's got a new video on. There's a lot right now because it's Vlogmas. So if you enjoy watching YouTube, now's the perfect time because all the creators are putting out so much content. And it's just so much fun. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you later after I eat. One of my favorite YouTubers has a new video. It's a sign. I'm meant to sit and watch this. Um, follow this chick. Well, if you like you if you like um, flight attendant vlogs, check out uh, Carrie Ann. She's very good. Um, I'm supposed to leave this on for 15 minutes, but, uh, what the heck? I mean, it is supposed to be foaming, so that part is normal, but, like, the foam is getting in my eyeballs. That can't be good for you. I wonder if I can get that out. This is a charcoal foaming mask. It's to help with impurities in the skin. Uh, and my skin was feeling impure. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and get this out of my eyeballs. Wish me luck. I mean, oh boy, hey boy. If I'm blind tomorrow, we all know why, okay? I'll either be blind or I'll have nice skin, right? <laughs> Okay, so obviously I've never tried this mask before, but whatever. Uh, just in case I forgot to show you the packaging earlier, because I don't know if I did. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Can you see this? Anyways. <laughs> uh, this is the Bolt Beyond. Can you see? Beyond Belief um, bubble mask with charcoal and tea tree extract. I feel like I got this in Vancouver. Uh, but I can't remember and it's made in Korea, you know, Korean beauty is all the rage and it says <coughs> I'm like breathing this in um, Oh my god, it says avoid contact with eyes Really? How? Purifying formula with charcoal and tea tree extract helps to lift dead skin and impurities while moisturizing for clean healthy skin um, but it definitely says avoid contact with eyes, so I'm gonna die, guys. It was nice knowing ya. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Ah, oh, yeah. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I kind of left a film, like, it didn't want to come off. Oh boy. Well, this is what flight attendants do when they're alone in hotel rooms. Uh, I mean, the skin feels good and it looks good and I can still see, so that is all good news. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower and moisturize and go to bed. All right, friends, that is it for um, day one of this pairing. Uh, 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed Saskatoon and my mask fiasco, even though I gotta say my skin looks pretty good and the little bumpies that were here are gone, so maybe it'll be worth it. My eyes are a bit red, but I just took a shower and that always happens. That's why I take my showers at night, not in the morning, generally. And my nails look amazing, so even though I spent more money than I wanted to, what else is new when you're on a layover? And, um, yeah. So tomorrow we're going to get out of this cold, and we're going to fly back to Calgary, and then we're flying to Cancun. And I'm excited. That's why I decided to take you guys on this trip, because at least I'm going somewhere, like, cool, you know? cool <laughs> anyways okay it is seven o'clock i need to wind down so good night the next day good morning guys it is day two of this trip and it is 4 a.m Time to make some coffee. All right, so uh, good morning again. I've made my coffee, sorry I'm talking so low, it's so early. Uh, it is 4.18, my pickup is at five. Usually I like to give myself a half an hour to chill and have coffee, and then a half an hour to actually get ready. It doesn't take me very long to get ready, I've got it down to an art. We have um Saskatoon to Calgary that's going to be very quick and then Calgary to Cancun that's going to be very long and yeah so now it's 4 23 so now I have seven minutes until it's time to get boogieing so what I usually try to do is find a YouTube video that corresponds to the amount of time that I have left approximately and watch that while I drink coffee so that's what I'm going to do and I will talk to you so I watched a quick Cody Miller video. Um, he's a speed swimmer. I don't even know how I started watching his videos. They must have been recommended to me. And uh, oh, my hair is staticky today. My goodness. Um, anyways, so I watched that and it was quite good. So if you're interested in watching an Olympic swimmer's vlogs i would recommend checking out cody miller vlogs because they're quite good they're quite good today i have a lot of sitting around so i like to do a french braid for days like that because it's the most comfortable because you can put your head back and your bun's not in the way we have to have our hair tied back for work it's part of the rules so um, yeah so I usually either go with a bun or with French blade when I worked on the littler planes I did the French blade every single day because I found it to be the most comfortable with the jump seat but on this plane I seem to be able to do just fine with the bun so I tend to do that because I, I kind of like the way it looks and it's very comfortable but for a day like today I will do a French braid you guys could see that <sighs> um, someone just slammed their door really loudly earlier and it always makes me feel like oh my gosh did I have the wrong pickup time because like why are they leaving already but um, it could have been there's another crew that you hear that had to leave an, or even earlier than us or sometimes um, you'll hear people on your crew leave early because like they're smokers or something so they go downstairs really early 
sometimes even like to go downstairs smoke and then go get ready because uh, as part of our regulations just like having our hair up you're not allowed to smell like smoke so they have to um, try to make sure that they don't luckily one of the things I like most about this um, job is that most people don't smoke because it's just not practical when you're in aviation and for the pilots it's not healthy for them because they spend so much time sitting down and um, you're prone to blood clots and then smoking makes that even worse and then just the fact that you can't get outside to smoke for the majority of the day makes it impractical okay so then i spray everything down like you just show so it's all nicey nicey <laughs> I don't wash my face in the mornings. I usually just rinse it off. I was getting a facial once and the lady told me it's not really necessary. Uh, so I don't. <laughs> Today, since I'm going somewhere warm, I'm gonna wear sunscreen as my base. And then I mix it in with my concealer, our uh, foundation. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless, um, whatever. Shade 112, if you care. I usually apply only a little bit of foundation because, I don't know, I don't want to be one of those girls that feels like they don't look good without their makeup on, so I keep it really light. Okay, that's step one. And then if it's early morning or I feel like I need it, I will apply a ton, little bit of concealer. And then eyeshadow. I like the Naked Basics palette. And can you tell which color I use the most? Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. I need to buy that shade individually. Oh my gosh, I got sunscreen in my eyeballs, I feel. Sorry, sir. Now because it's 4 a.m. and I'm in a hurry, I made a bit of a mistake. And I forgot that that was pure sunscreen. Oh, my poor little eyeballs. Between the mask yesterday and the sunscreen today. <sighs> Anyways, then the best favorite part of my makeup routine is a little bit of blush. This is <clears throat> from MAC. And I don't know what it's called, but it's really old. Really old. And what the hey, let's do some mascara today. Sometimes I don't if I know I'm going to be going swimming. But, you know. And that is it. That's why I, I get ready so fast. I go for very minimalist, just clean, polished, ready to go. Alrighty, we are dressed, packed, ready to go. It is 4.50, uh, so right on schedule. Have to leave very shortly. Oh, let me do this first. Put my ID on and we have to wear a watch, it is mandatory, and we can't have tattoos, so I killed two birds with one stone, and ta-da, what tattoo? <laughs> I have to wear it really tight so that it doesn't like move, which is unfortunate, I have like a watch mark on myself every time at the end of the night, but oh well, oh my iPad. 
do a room scan. Make sure you have everything, which now I do. And yeah, we are pretty much good to go. So, um, yeah. Alrighty, so one final scan of the room. Make sure we didn't forget anything. I like to turn off all the lights. And uh, this is gonna be a trick one-handed. Ow. Well, you're just ready to go. I am ready to go. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm on the plane. I'm the only girl on the crew today. It's like a princess pairing, I think they call it. I don't know. Anyways, time for coffee number two before we start boarding. Two hours later. Six and a half hours later. So we have arrived to the hotel in Cancun. I didn't include any of the flight for you guys. It was pretty, um, pretty standard little flight there. There was a couple of people that were too excited to be going to Cancun, but overall it was a decent flight. And it was, I think, officially five hours and 45 minutes. And um, yeah, so it was kind of long. I had grabbed a sub to eat during the flight and I was glad that I did because there was really nothing else around or available. So yeah, so that worked out good. And then here am I, here I am <laughs> trying to find my room, but I'm getting distracted by the lovely view. I mean, look at that, the sunset and the turquoise ocean and the waves. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay, let's see what we're working with here, guys. It's very difficult to hold. Oh my god, it looks like I got a nice room. Okay. Wow. I don't want to leave tomorrow. Look at this. Okay, here's the washroom. Hello, sweaty Jennifer. Ta da. Nice little mini bar area. Nice bed. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. I really wish I was here longer. Our pickup tomorrow is 3.20 p.m. and it's now six o'clock. So I mean like, not bad, but you know. I really need a real vacation, I think. How do we get out of here? Let's see. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, girl. So I'm excited to, to be here. I did find another female crew member in the um, hotel lobby uh, and she also used to work at Encore. Sorry, I keep looking at myself, it's so hard. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to close the door here. She also used to work at Encore, so I was like, are you Colleen? And she's like, how do you know that? I'm like, I, I literally don't know, but she just looked familiar to me. So anyways, I told her I would change and I would meet her because she wanted to go and get food. And truthfully, I didn't think she should be going by herself. And so I'm gonna do that. I wanna have a low key night, whereas all the other people sounds like they wanna have a lit night. But I wanna be a low key cause I'm more about like getting onto that pool tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? I need my pool time. So anyways, I'm gonna change and uh, get out of here. Okay, I am changed, ready to go. All I wanna do literally is go jump in some water because I am so hot and sweaty. But whatever, I'm gonna be a team player for tonight. I'll get up early tomorrow and do my own thing. Um, 
they made us put our bags underneath the plane this time and we really didn't want to because Mexico is very corrupt and one guy had 800 pesos stolen from his bag and I had my little mermaid Ariel tag stolen from my bag so that was unfortunate but yeah whatever so here's a little bit more of a view it looks very nice I just want to jump in. I don't know why people don't like to swim once the sun's got it, because I like to. Hey guys, um, I am back in my hotel room. It's about 8.30. I am as hot and disgusting as one could possibly be. I'm sure you can tell by looking at me. Um, I just do not do well. I don't, I don't do well with hot weather. So yeah, so um, went out for dinner. I had some ceviche, some fish tacos some mojitos it was very delicious tomorrow all i have to do is cancun to calgary um which shouldn't be too bad people are usually tired on the way back but kind of over the party and everything so they just want to like sleep and relax so that is perfect and um then the next day i have a really long day i have um calgary to fort lauderdale and then fort lauderdale to toronto just let that sink in just how whew. so that's gonna be a rough day so I just want to relax tonight go to bed as early as possible I'm hoping to be sleeping by 10 o'clock so that I can get up nice and early and get out and just relax and enjoy myself and yeah be well rested because then I have minimum rest in Calgary and then I'm working and then I get home Saturday night uh, I don't remember what time late and then Sunday I have swim practice and then Monday I have off so that'll be nice so yeah I don't know <sighs> anyways so that's it so this is uh, day two is this only day two oh my god this is day two of my pairing. Started this morning in Saskatoon, minus 17. Now I'm here in Cancun and clearly dying. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. While my ocean swimming was a bust, the waves are a little strong this morning to be swimming by yourself. They're not too strong for me, they're just too strong to be by yourself and it would be pretty embarrassing to die swimming on a work trip. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so I think I might go try and stake out a good spot at the pool. I really wish I had my sunglasses, but I don't, so there we go. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. I am 
back from the beach. It's about 1.30, 1.40. I would have stayed till like two because our pickup's at three, but uh, everyone else was leaving and I just thought, you know what, I'll just, I'll just go now. Looks like I did get a little bit of color, but I think that's just the lighting. I don't think I actually, it's a kind of a cloudy day. So actually that's kind of a trick. You never know how much color you got. Anyways, it was a lovely morning on the beach, even though I would have liked to stay. Can you see? No. Even though I would have liked to stay half an hour more, I mean like, it's never long enough, right? You always want to stay longer and you just can't. But it did make me feel like I haven't been on a vacation in a while. It made me feel like I need a vacation. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I just have a nice little coffee. Um, I'm gonna get ready and I can get ready at my leisure, which is nice because I have a lot of time and uh, Cancun will be over. This will be my last tropical thing for 2019. I'm very sure of that. <laughs> Eight hours later. All right guys, we made it to Calgary and it is understandably a little bit colder than it was in Cancun. That's okay. The flight was pretty good. It was like six hours, um, but everyone was, you know, chillaxed and so excited to get home to Calgary winter. So now I'm just walking to the hotel. It's right beside the airport. And that is all, I will check in with you there. Hey guys, so I made it to my room. It is about 9.45 here in Calgary. Don't have a long rest. I have to be up around seven, I think, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna unwind a little bit, drink some more water, and my face is getting a little red. So that sun is coming in. The cloudiness of the day apparently tricked me. And <laughs> Um, that's pretty much it. I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Um, it's gonna be Calgary to Fort Lauderdale and then Fort Lauderdale to Toronto. And apparently there's some snowstorms in Toronto, so that could mean delays. You know, who knows, who knows what's gonna happen, but we shall see. And um, that's it for tonight. Day three? Day three is over. We made it. One day to go. The next day. Guys, I am not feeling that amazing this morning. Really? Oh, this is. <laughs> Guess gave us chocolate yesterday, so I still have it. Um. This is not good because it's going to be a long day. I just decided to drop my next pairing because oh, I'm not feeling good. So I'm going to see what I have in my little bag of tricks here. I think I have something that could work for me. This is riveting footage. Oh, perfect. This is what I'm going to use. And then I have some Neo Citroen Daytime. Um... I only have one, that's unfortunate. Anyways, I think I'm gonna take this now to get me going and um, continue on with getting ready. This hotel is connected um, right to the airport, so I don't even have to go outside this morning. The only problem is like when there's not a shuttle picking us up, it's up to us to be at the gate on time. And because I'm always paranoid about being late, I always end up going much earlier than is necessary, but whatever. It's better to be early than late, right? Am I right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drink my Neo Citron, which is probably gonna taste like coffee because I don't have time to rinse out the coffee maker before I make hot water and uh, be on my way. <laughs> So unfortunately guys, once I left my hotel room, started walking through the airport, I started feeling really, really sick and I just decided to do the responsible thing and I ended up calling in sick. I didn't work that day, I just flew home. And yeah, not how I wanted to close out the trip for you, but you know, sometimes you get sick and that's what happens. You guys, I have a cold again. I just got over one. This is not fair. Oh. 
this is not a good time of year to work with the public, let me tell you.